guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to share with you all how i rooted my monstera albo borsigiana when i purchased this plant it was a top cutting i've heard from my other plant friends that buying or purchasing a top cutting to propagate is the best buying the cutting locally was really an advantage because it saves the plant from getting stress in transit during shipping. Top cuttings are more expensive than mid cuttings. Top cuttings, uh, the leaf continues to grow from the same growth point. So it will grow faster compared to the other cuttings. People have different ways of rooting and propagating. So you always need to do some research, work on propagating whatever is comfortable and what you believe that works for you. And also what's the best plant propagation method for this type of plant. What works for one person may not work for the other. There are also factors that may affect your plant while rooting or propagating. It might be your water, your lighting, the humidity, and the environment where the plant is in. You have to really mimic or imitate the environment same as the plant's environment before you got the plant. So these are the photos that the seller sent to me prior to purchasing the plant. The top cutting has one aerial root. So guys, keep on watching. Shout out to some plant people who helped me boost my confidence. Shout out to my friend Frida Pineda Alviar for sending me good positive vibes and sharing images. Alan Sue, Sai Liget, and Amin Lim. Guys, rooting an expensive plant can elevate stress. So for those who are about to propagate or root your Monstera, Albo, or any expensive plant, number one rule is stop staring at your plant. Don't wake up in the middle of the night and get some good sleep and wake up with confidence. You can prop your cutting in any way that you believe works best. Just remember, way back in the days, our ancestors just stick their plants or cuttings in water. You can prop your cutting on a stick or you can tape it down. And you can always place it in a spot with indirect light or filtered light. Use a clear glass or container that's easy to clean and don't put too much water. With my cutting, I only submerge the aerial root into the water, so my water level is below the cut of the stem. That way, if I will experience a root rot, I still have the stem that I can develop some roots. I change the water weekly and clean the container as needed. Each time I change the water, I always check for possible root rot. When you are rooting in water, you can see clearly that the roots that are developed are white, fuzzy water roots. I also randomly check the leaves for any brown tips. The white variegation of the leaf usually gets the brown tips. With my cutting, I propped it using a surgical tape and I attached it and taped it down on the side of an IKEA glass container. The surgical tape is really easy to use because it doesn't put too much pressure on the stem and it holds up the cutting we're in only the aerial roots is submerged to water. It's also easy to take off and prop it back when I'm done cleaning the container or replacing the water. 
I use filtered water or Brita water. Some people also use distilled water. After two weeks of propping my cutting, I already got like roots as long as uh, two inches. And after a month, it's like four to five inches. I know that you can already plant your cutting if your roots is more than three inches. But I made sure that I have more roots developed before I'm confident enough to transplant my cutting. Using filtered or distilled water is better because there are harmful additives in water like chlorine and with filtered water, that harmful additive is removed. After two weeks of rooting my cutting, I want to expedite the rooting process by adding a formula called liquid dirt. Liquid dirt is used commonly as a plant food. It has 18 concentrated ingredients of balanced vitamins and minerals. This formula is also used for transplanting to prevent plants to experience plant shock. The packet or container has instructions so you can carefully read and understand how to properly use it. It also comes with a pipette and I'm using a little amount which is less than what is in the instruction by just dipping the pipette, staining the tip, and tinting the water a little bit. The color of the water shouldn't look like iced tea, otherwise you had put too much of it. I started rooting my cutting during winter time, so there are times when the temperature drops down and I needed to put warmth on the spot where I placed my uh, cutting. To speed up the root development, I started using a heat mat. Heat mats are used for germination of seeds and some people also use it for rooting. I always like to try different ways and the best ways to achieve my goal, which is more roots. So I decided to put my container on top of a heat mat. The heat mat can provide warmth and it can help grow more roots. So I got this heat mat from Amazon and I read the reviews and I also heard from some plant friends that they have been using this particular brand so i tried to review the instructions and safety warnings i also bought a timer attached to the outlet that way i can regulate the time uh, my cutting will be on top of the heat mat so i only do it for five hours during night time and I don't want to exceed more than five hours because I've heard too much heat can also cause root rot. I always check the temperature of my heat mat making sure that it only gives warmth and not too hot. This heat mat needs also to be laid on an insulated surface. If you're setting up your heat mat inside your greenhouse, Make sure the surface is also dry and not wet. You can always use something like a tray, like what I'm using right here, and lay over your heat mat. Always check your cutting for possible root rot when using a heat mat. Guys, if you have any questions, uh, make a comment down below in the comment box. And if you like the content of this video and you find it helpful, Please consider subscribing, uh, hit the notification bell so I will see you in my next video. 
Thank you so much for watching.